The fall semester is in full swing and the news department is back reporting the first Berkeley Beat episode. This week we're going to be taking a look at community events, a study of broad fair, and one of Berkeley's finest Mexican restaurants. We will also be covering an organization that helps promote awareness about the national debt. I'm Aaron Thiel. And I'm Daniela Messerina. The Berkeley Beat starts now. Representatives from the Can Kick SPAC organization were able to get over 75 students to write opinionated messages to Washington politicians in order to protect future generations from the negative consequences of increasing national debt. These messages were placed on cans and will be set up in front of Capitol Hill during the end of their tour. Cal Performance has hosted an event this weekend called Fall Free For All, where students and community members attended a free music festival. Performances took place at several venues on campus throughout the entire day, including a number of outdoor venues. The numbers are in and UC Berkeley once again remains the number one public university in the country. UC Berkeley has maintained their ranking for 16 consecutive years according to the annual ranking published by the U.S. News and World Report earlier this month. Now, Aaron, UC Berkeley has a lot of information regarding studying abroad. Yeah, that's right. And to build on that, we're going to go to our correspondent, Skylar Economy, to talk about all the opportunities that Cal students have to study abroad. I'm here at UC Berkeley's annual Study Abroad Fair, where over 60 exhibitors are here to showcase their Study Abroad program for Berkeley students. Let's go take a look at what they have in store for us this year. This last Friday, UC Berkeley students interested in studying abroad fled in and out of iHouse in order to get the information about programs that they need to in order to apply. From Spain to China to Australia to Peru, the fair showcased over 60 different programs that students could potentially use for their travel abroad experience. Whether it is traveling abroad for an internship or traveling abroad for school credit, the Study Abroad Fair has everything from financial aid to workshops about maximizing your experience overseas. I think that's great. just different reasons why, why everyone's here and it's just cool to see everybody with similar interests like gathered together at one place where all these opportunities are offered. The study abroad fair consisted of a total of six rooms that students could experience. The three downstairs rooms had the majority of exhibitors representing Berkeley programs, UC-wide programs, and the independent study abroad organizations as well. Upstairs, there was a room dedicated to workshops for students to get advice from student alums of the programs. There was also a photo contest exhibiting the top captured moments from UC Berkeley students' study abroad experiences. Now back to you in the studio. So Aaron, what's the pick of the week? Uh, well, if you're in the mood for some good Mexican food, definitely check out Remy's restaurant uh, across the street from the new Martinez Commons. In the two years that they've been open, owner Manny Lopez has put Remy's on the map with a friendly atmosphere and popular weekday specials. Of the classic Mexican dishes, the most popular, according to Lopez, are flautas and enchiladas. You know, I've never been to Remy's, Aaron. Well, I know where I'm going after this. <laughs> well, that's it for news. Thanks so much for tuning in. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.